I'm sorry, real quick. Am I the only one that didn't know that White Castle had breakfast sliders? Man, the sign's busted out. <laughs> it's no sign. It's a happy day when I'm in a White Castle parking lot at 2.30 in the afternoon. Today's video brought to you by the one and only Hey Maddie P. That's what I call him, so that's what we're calling him today. White Castle's breakfast time. I like the exclamation point. That's a good use of an exclamation point. It's an exclamation point. It's a line with a dot under it. Well, I felt it called for one. Definitely try the chicken and waffle slider because it's unique, but get a normal sausage and egg slider for a control group test as well. First person to ever drop control test in the description. Or do whatever the f you want. It's your f***ing channel. <laughs> Continue being awesome, and then it looks like, is he pouring one out? Is that like a pouring out emoji? Looks like the beer is spilling. Today, White Castle. Hi, can I do a uh, sausage, egg, and cheese slider? And then can I do a uh, traditional uh, breakfast slider? And then do you guys have the chicken waffle slider? Yeah. I'll do one of those. And then can I do a large Diet Coke? All right, thank you. Matt, you know I had to get the Diet Coke for you, dude. It's that large Diet Coke life. It's no McDonald's, but White Castle's pretty good, too. If anybody's wondering, the shrimp nibblers are back for a limited time. <laughs> Thank you. I have the Diet Coke, too. I feel like every time I go to a White Castle, they always forget my drink, and you have to be like, um, sorry, um. It's a joke, okay? It's a bomb nation. Thank you, have a great day. You too. My top five fast food restaurants, I think, are based on how excited I am the moment I pull out of the drive-thru. Like, White Castle is high. Like, they are top five. They've always been in my top five. I know that's crazy, but I, I adore White Castle. Grew up eating it with my dad and brother, and we get Crave cases, and I don't know. It's just, it's near and dear to my heart. Now that's a bold move. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. So today is actually my true foray into the White Castle breakfast menu. It's hard for me to even, to go there at like 8, 9 in the morning and not get a, a sack of 10. Oh yeah. Pajama pants, 2.30 in the afternoon, heading into a White Castle. That should be, they should put that up on the sign where the, the White Castle logo's gone. Put that lady, put the bottom half of that lady up there. I don't even mean that mean, like I genuinely think that the like, the comfortability that White Castle provides you. You've gotta be fucking kidding me. No! Hello from the other side. Let me make sure. No problem if it was just the wrong pop. But you know when the machine's fucked up and it gives you like a quarter syrup, a quarter water, and then rust? Fucking fuck. I don't want to go back through the drive. Hi, my diet coke is all fucked up. Matt, is your blood boiling right now? <laughs> I should have gotten a Diet Coke at McDonald's, which is right there, and just pulled in here. I'm gonna get a dollar any size soft drink at that at that McDonald's after this to give myself like a dessert. Whatever. Doesn't help that that was like two dollars and sixty nine cents. All right, what do we got going on in here? Dining room table installed. I don't think so, Tim. I don't think so, Tim. What are the chances this order's right? Smells like a Denny's in this car. To recap, we got a regular White Castle slider, but with eggs and cheese. That's the doing whatever the f I wanna do part of this video. <laughs> then for Matt's suggestion, we got the sausage, egg, and cheese, and then we got the chicken and waffles. It comes with Sour's grape jelly and the queen herself, Mrs. Butterworth, syrup. I'm gonna take maple syrup and put a little bit in my hair when I've had a rough week. What do you think holds it up, Slick? As you watch this video, drop your thoughts of White Castle. If you get the breakfast, if you like it, what's your go-to order? Let's just, let's just chat WC today. All right, Maddie P, here's our lineup here today. We got the sausage, egg, and cheese on the left. We got the chicken waffle with bacon. 
bacon. And then we've got our traditional slider, but with egg and cheese and the egg looks fried in the restaurant and it's busting off this thing. It's absolutely looking gourmet, if I can so say that. <laughs> Price of this slider, $1.99. All right, my first White Castle donation here on the daily vlog. This one's for you. I'm gonna start with the traditional slider, then go sausage, then go chicken. Here we go. Bro. That is so good. The egg is like over medium. There's like some yolk in there that's actually glistening. Here's what it is. Oh my God. It's those caramelized onions that White Castle uses. Having that with egg too. Those little itty bitty grilled onions that just explode in your mouth like flavor crystals every time you bite into one. Just makes me want to burn this motherfucker down. That Anthony Anderson clip is my reaction every time I, I get those onions in my face. Come on, Boogie, let's burn this motherfucker down. I've already started to care less about the whole Diet Coke fiasco of 2022. That was incredible. Oh my God. That's available all the time. If you get White Castle sliders, throw in a few breakfast ones. Really wish I could have a sip of Diet Coke right now. No, I'm, all right, I'm re-mad. <laughs> my dad is watching this video and is so jealous right now. White Castle, I think, is his favorite. All right, now the exact same thing, except this is swapping the hamburger meat for sausage. Price of this slider, also $1.99. Let's see which one's better, sausage or beef. Fire. Here's the thing, though. No caramelized onions. This is more of a traditional breakfast slider. Not trying to be anything but a breakfast slider. Still great. Sausage is fantastic. These are pretty meaty sliders for two bucks. Like, the regular sliders are like, you pop them like pills. This has got some, like, there's a lot going on. There are two fast food restaurants that I completely know are going to ruin my stomach. I will suffer the consequences because of how much joy I have for the seven minutes of eating. <laughs> White Castle and Taco Bell. I will be chained to my toilet later. <laughs> be right out! Sometimes I'm too honest with you guys. That's just a good little morsel right there. I'm sad you're leaving me. But... If you listen to what I just said, I'll see you later. <laughs> Do you want to play battle Oh my god. If the Diet Coke was a zero, breakfast slider was 100% A plus good job. Sausage without the onion, that was like an A minus. Last but not least, the chicken and waffles with bacon. I'm gonna do the first bite clean, then I'm gonna go some grape jelly, then I'm gonna do some syrup. Matt, thanks again, this is super fun. I'm so happy to be doing this one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Chicken's good, it's hot still. Waffles are, you know, not gonna be hot, like how toast at fast food restaurants is never actually toasted or hot, <laughs> whatever. Bacon is crispy and salty. Eating that last is where it's at. The sweetness after all that salt, but still a little bit of savory because of the bacon. I'll tell you what, I am not a jam guy. It's not that I don't like it. I'm just not at a point financially in my life that I'm just buying smuckers jars for days. <laughs> it's a really sad thing to say out loud. All right, I'm gonna do some of this grape sours. Good little Porsche. What do we say, guys? Damn. I never put jam on chicken waffles. Like when I get chicken waffles at a diner, I never go, Pass the smuckers or go get that sours or sorry for telling you to go get things. I'm a pleon. I can't let you order that. That waffle is good. Like it is tasty. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for my final trick, opening a maple syrup container in a car, I should be given a Pulitzer. Upholstery suicide, Mrs. Butterworth. Oh, it's dripping all over the tray. <laughs> you saw it, you saw it, cool. Look at that dunk. See what we're all about here. That's not even fair. We've all been sleeping on White Castle's breakfast and we all need to wake up, fix the Diet Coke machine and smell the roses. Cause White Castle's breakfast menu's coming. Whether you wanna be on this train or not. So hide your kids, hide your wife. We gon' find you, we gon' find you. I'm eating the leftover waffle off the tray. I was thinking about this video all morning. I woke up today I ran six miles, and then as soon as I showered, I just started goo.
Googling White Castle menu items. <laughs> you could ask me any trivia question about White Castle's menu. I know ev I know it all. Nobody cares, Sean. I need someone to power wash this tray so badly. Nobody cares. I've got maple syrup now embedded in the like striations of the cup holder. That might be the best fast food donation we've had yet on the vlog. Like I'm gonna have to take this into my house and like use a Q-tip in the grooves. <laughs> That's gonna be part of my work day. So many crumbs. I'm a crumb made boy. No, no. Guys, if you wanna be like, hey Maddie P, and donate to the show, and have a video like this, where I eat what you tell me to eat, and then a little bit more on top for me to get a skunked out Diet Coke, and then a slider that blew my mind. My, okay, so my favorite one was the burger one. Second place was probably the chicken and waffles, and the sauce and cheese was fire. It just, I would ask for the crispy, the, the caramelized onions on it. I love making this vlog for you guys. The Venmo, the Cash App, the PayPal. If you wanna see it continue, and you wanna see my face never stop spitting unnecessary words, please donate. Every single donation that comes in leads to a new video. And uh, yeah, we're coming up, to, coming up to 100 videos. We're gonna push on, and then our next goal is four straight months. So, some people are working hard in their profession, trying to get seen and get a promotion. I'm just trying to have you guys donate like 25 bucks for me to hit a White Castle again. That's all I'm saying. Let's shake it up. Give it one more chance. <laughs> He's climbing in your windows. He's snatching your people up. Trying to rape them, so y'all need to hide your kids. Hide your I'm an island boy, and I've been trying to make. Oh, I'm an island boy. Hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your wife. For those of you who don't know, oh my God, look at this line. <laughs> Thanks for sticking around, by the way. Uh, Matt is the kind of lead videographer, one of the hosts of Midwest Brew Review. It's an awesome YouTube channel that does a bunch of different beer content around the kind of Chicagoland area, but they're very knowledgeable of it, kind of global. And they even have a beer that won gold at Fobab, which is the Festival of Barrel Age Brewing. It's incredible what they've done in the few years that they've been a fun little trio. You know I had to, I couldn't let White Castle win. You know what I mean? I could have I could have gone back and got another Diet Coke. To highlight how much better McDonald's is in a White Castle video is so great. This is one of them double drive throughs three o'clock in the afternoon, and they're both full, and I'm gonna wait in line for a DC. Do they still have any size soft drinks? They better not got rid of that. Welcome to McDonald's, how can I help you? Hi, can I just do a large Diet Coke? And that's it? Yeah, just that. Okay. 111. 111. Thank you. Thank you. 11 cents of tax on a $1 item. Thanks, Chicago. $1.11 at McDonald's, $2.69 at the WC. The guy behind me in line looks like Matt. <laughs> Majestic beard, glasses, brewery hat. Is that Matt? That's uncanny. Should I go hit on him? It's gonna be fun. We got the large sweet tea. Uh, Diet Coke. Thank you. Have a good day. I think that kid that just handed me that drink was 14 years old. It even sounds better. Oh my God, I just busted. I had them before, they're very good, so I'm kind of excited. Sorry, that was inappropriate. That is so good. Honestly, sometimes you gotta have bad sh happen to you in your life so you can appreciate the good. Oh my God, is that good. I feel like a different person. Matt, I love you, buddy. Cheers. Can't wait to drink some Diet Coke with you soon. <laughs>